It's day 54, we're going to look at a specific type of file, the CSV file, and how you can open and manipulate that in Python. So maybe you've been sent a CSV file. What, what is a CSV file? Well, CSV stands for comma separated value, which is a way of storing a spreadsheet in a text file. I've got one here, which I'm just going to upload to Replit. And this is very, very easy. You can take your file and you can drag and drop it on the files pane and it will upload that. You'll see it's recognized it as a CSV file. And if I open it at the bottom here for you, this is what it is. It's basically a bunch of text with commas between it, which allows us to see different data types. Now, of course, I could read that into the program in the same way I've done before, but I am going to have to make some special accommodations for the way in which it's working. Luckily for us, CSV files are so common when you're dealing with businesses and big sets of data that we already have libraries that exist for bringing this stuff in. At a very simple level, we can just import the CSV library and do this. On line three, we're opening the CSV file, january.csv, and we're opening it as the variable file. Then in the construct, we're using a reader, which is a CSV reader, which opens the file up. And then we can move through the rows in that file and print them out. Well, let's see what that does. Well, okay, but it just looks like a bunch of nonsense again, doesn't it? We've got square brackets, we've got commas all over the shop. It is in fact trying very, very hard to read the data in, in a nice way. Well, let's see what more we can do. First of all, that first row is the headings. So wouldn't it be nice to place this in something like a dictionary? Well, of course it would. Well, we're gonna need something useful for us here. Well, to print it out nicely, I'm gonna have to show you a very different function. And that's a function called join. Now the way join works is that join allows us to combine together lists in an interesting way. We say what we're gonna put between them, I'm gonna put a comma and a space, and then I'm going to join together the row. Look at how this differs. It's a much nicer way of showing it. In fact, I could combine them together with tabs and things do line up a little bit nicer. The join function is really good if you bring in arrays and you just need to print them out quickly. So you'll see here that what we've actually got is a bunch of data for a business. We've got the date, their income and expenditure on each day, and the net total. That's a positive or a negative number depending upon how much they made overall. Now, of course, what I'd like to do is probably add up that last column and work out overall if the business made money in that month. Well, just how am I going to do that? Well, there's a number of ways. I could treat it like a list like I am at the moment, but that's not that useful. Or I could treat it like a dictionary. And the moment I start treating it like a dictionary, I get a bit more control. So what we can do is print out as if it was a normal dictionary by changing reader to dict reader. And watch out for the capitalization on that because that's a bit weird and also the pronunciation. But what we can do here is instead of having to print out the entire row is we can call an individual field based on its heading. Now in a CSV file, and let's have a look at that again, the first thing in a CSV file is going to be the names of the headings. So we want the net total for each day. So all I've done is I've put in my print command row square brackets net total, just like we did with dictionary. And you can see there that it's printing out the net total for each day. Well, let's see if we can add that together. Let's make a total. And instead of pr just printing it out, let's add that to it. Now we get an error like this because it reads it in and as with files, as with keyboards, as with input, it thinks everything is text. So we need to make sure we cast that as a float. We've added it all up. Now, right at the end, we need to print out, and there you go. At the end, we've got our overall total, positive or negative in this case, they've made $20,000 over the course of a month, which is not too bad considering the amount of negative values in that CSV file. So a CSV file is a specific way of storing the data from a spreadsheet. We can read that in access individual fields and do our magic with it if we treat it like a dictionary. Common problems, well, we've seen one of them. If you forget to cast your data when you're trying to use it, you will get into some problems. There's also some issues where if you import a CSV file and it already contains currency symbols, you will have to try and remove those in order to use the numbers properly. But the most common problem with a CSV file is simply this. 
So, nothing's erring here, but we are getting a bizarre form of output on the console. And that's because, take a look at line 8. The join command is really, really useful for looking at an entire row of data and trying to glue it together in a way that's easy to print out. In this case, though, we've applied it to a string, a single field that's made up of individual characters. So it's joining together those individual characters with the string at the start. Every individual character has a comma and a space after it. Now, because we use the comma and the space in the code to talk about lists and the difference between items and lists, this looks a bit strange. And all it is, is that when we're trying to print out an individual item, we don't want that join command at all. Here's another common error. Crash again. I'm sure you can guess what's causing this. It's another one of those file IO errors where the file doesn't actually exist. We're trying to open a file that isn't in the file system. To fix that, either you need to upload it yourself or you need to wrap that in a try and accept construct so that it picks up the error and does something else if it's not working. As usual, I've broken some code and I'd really like you to try and fix it for me. After 50 something days, you might be thinking, he breaks a lot of code. If you've watched me solve the problems in the videos after these, you'll see I break it a lot. I'm sorry. Your challenge today. I've given you a CSV file that contains multiple pieces of data. It contains the cost of an item that was sold and the quantity. What I would like you to do is read that CSV file in, multiply the cost by the quantity and add it all up together to work out how much money this shop took in a single day. Now you may need to use the dictionary approach to loading your CSV file. You will need to take in two different values from the CSV file and you will need to cast them in two different ways to get it all working. When you're done, please publish it to the community, share it with us with the hashtag replit 100 days of code so we can all take a look at the good work you've been doing. Tomorrow, we're gonna be looking again at the OS library. It's much more than just clearing your screen. In fact, we can use it to make folders and navigate the entire structure of your file system. Cool.